Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I wanted to share this with you that I've come up with and uh, have out on Thingiverse. So it's not only just this, it's also the idea that's out there on Thingiverse too, and I'll talk about that in a second. So I whip this up, and it's kind of an interesting S-shape, if you will, uh, in, in OpenSCAD. And then basically I just punched some holes in it. Now it's very similar to uh, another um, pegboard mount that I did an episode on a little bit earlier that you can see up there. And I decided I wanted a desktop stand version of this that can be used for pencils, nut drivers like this, etc. So I came up with this and it's, it's, it's kind of cool because again it has this unique shape, sits on a desk very nicely. You can put the, the device in here and it slides in very nicely or you can take a screwdriver and the same thing. And what happens is, um, pretty simple design, you know, uh, in short, you have these two top planes that hold the device straight so you can shake it like this, it doesn't fall over. Again, it sits very nicely. And for the longer uh, objects, I've indented the bottom so it doesn't poke all the way through so it's not going to mar your desk if it does touch the bottom. So if it comes all the way down, it's just going to bump up against the plastic and again, very stable and a very interesting looking design, at least from the side and the front is if I get over here, you can see. So up here, I've been running some time lapses of it printed out. I printed it out on the Creality, did this one in PLA. Uh, it took about three hours or so to print, didn't use supports. Without supports, you get a little bit of um, elongation and artifacting in some of the holes, but more than acceptable. I haven't cleaned it. This is straight off the printer. I haven't done any cleanup on it. I just want you guys to see what it looks like like this. With a cleanup tool, a little bit of cleanup around the holes and everything, it would look like a million bucks. So I thought this was pretty cool. And again, the idea with this is I've also, with this on Thingiverse, on this model, uh, up here on Thingiverse, or maybe it's going to be over there. Uh, so I better move this this way if I put it there. Anyways, I've got a blank one of these uh, out on Thingiverse. So you can download it, bring it into Tinkercad. And matter of fact, I'm going to do an episode uh, on this where I um, actually modify it and show you guys how to modify it. Now, the interesting thing is... Uh, to come up with this, I actually in the slicer elongated this to match the tool length because I, I wanted in particular to place these hex drivers in here and I wanted so much space above the bottom so I just stretched it in the uh, uh, slicer and because of the shape it's 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 um, it, it stretches very nicely, let's put it that way, I'm trying to think of the word. However, it's very accommodating to being stretched in different dimensions. So, so this basic version um, is 75 millimeters wide and I forget it's about 65 or so millimeter or maybe maybe 80 millimeters tall something like that anyways you get the idea and so you can stretch it up or down you can stretch it this way um, and it actually works pretty good now if you stretch it in an XY uh, dimension uh, without being uniform obviously the holes are going to elongate um, so but if you do it in the Z which is what I did I added uh, I think about 15 millimeters in the Z it, it, you know again it's not going to really affect the holes too much you might get some elongation as you can kind of see in these holes but it, it works very well um, and I set these for for seven millimeter holes because I didn't want to go too big um, but you can make, you know, again, take the blank and make whatever size holes you want for pencils, test tubes, whatever. I figure this is a handy rack because, again, I'm going to do a, a bit of an episode where I take this and I actually show you how to bring it into um, Inkscape and make something out of it. So, uh, but before then, I just kind of want to introduce this and, and point out that it's out there on Thingiverse. So if you want to go ahead and start without me go ahead or you just want to print this because it's a great little desktop tool caddy as you can see because you can just kind of ad hoc drop tools in and it just has sits off here and you know you need something you grab it you pull it out and uh, I should probably put it over here because I'm probably in the way of the time lapse but anyways works out really handy so big thumbs up on this and uh, so anyways, again, I'll have the files out on Thingiverse for you guys for free. And don't forget, Swag Shop's going to be up over there. Subs and, oh yeah, you don't subscribe. Well, you can subscribe to the Swag Shop, but subscribe's going to be coming up over there. Hit me up in the comments below. What do you think uh, else I could do with this S-shape that I could come up with? And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.